All rise. Veuillez vous lever. The International Criminal Court is now in session. L'audience de la Cour pénale internationale est ouverte. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. Thank you very much. Court officer, please announce the case. Bonjour. The court officer. Good morning. Situation in the Republic of Kenya. Case. The prosecutor versus William Samway Ruto and Joshua Arapsang. Number, case number ICC 0109-0111. We are in public session. Appearances, I see, remain the same. Mr. Garcia. Good morning, Your Honors. Yes, indeed, they do remain the same. Ms. Hooper. The appearances remain the same. Um, the Chamber will, of course, note that Mr. Ruto is, is back and with us today. That is noted that Mr. Ruto is back with us. Mr. President, my team is different today. Uh, absent today is Mr. Koech, who will join us a little later, and Mr. J and, uh, Judy Myongi. Uh, Dr. Caroline Boothman, who passed her exams yesterday, has also gone to New York for her graduation and should join us shortly thereafter. Thank you, Mr. President. And your Looks like there's a lot of graduation happening on your side. <laughs> That's true, Mr. President. Mr. Mr. President, we remain the same. Thank you. And congratulations to Ms. Bosman. Uh, Mr. Sang, uh, um, Mr. Keegan Katwa, we have a, a decision on your request. We will announce, I will read it out now. Uh, yesterday, the defense for Mr. Sang requested the excusal of Mr. Sang from presence at trial on the 1st of November 2013. The request is for the purpose of attending his daughter's graduation. The graduation had been planned for the period around the 7th of November 2013, but was rescheduled. Mr. Sang fears that if he does not attend, uh, the daughter will not be able to understand why. Uh, the prosecution objects to the request, arguing that the limits of discretion to grant excusal, as indicated in the, in the appeals chamber's recent judgment, uh, do not allow for excusal to attend family occasions. The decision of the chamber is by majority. The majority recalls that among the limitations to the trial chamber's discretion, as indicated by the appeals chamber, the absence of the accused can only take place in exceptional circumstances, and the possibility of alternative measures must have been considered, including but not limited to changes to the trial schedule or a short adjournment of the trial. The majority of the chamber, Judge Ebo Suji dissenting, is of the view that while the occasion in relation to which Mr. Sang requested to be absent is of importance to him and his family, it can now be regarded as an exceptional circumstance warranting excusal. The majority notes that a witness who is currently testifying and is likely to continue on on the 1st of November 2013 has given evidence in chief which is of direct relevance to Mr. Sang's alleged acts and conduct. The majority further notes that no alternative measures can be adopted to facilitate Mr. Sang's absence. In particular, the testimonies of witnesses 268 and 423 need to be completed no later than the 8th of November. It is thus not possible to adjourn the trial at this point. 
I concur in that particular finding. For these reasons, the Chamber, by majority, rejects the request of Mr. Sang. I dissent from the majority decision that rejected the request. In my own view, the request should be granted. Uh, justice may be blind, but it is blind for a purpose. At any rate, it always had a heart that cares for the interests of small children. The request is to permit Mr. Sang to keep his promise to his six-year-old daughter, a promise to be there for her graduation. That promise was made at a time when Mr. Sang thought that the case would be in a scheduled adjournment, but the school changed the graduation date. That, to me, is an exceptional circumstance. In my own view, exceptional in the sense of an exception rather than the rule. It has to keep in mind that Mr. Sang is not a convict. He is an accused person that enjoys the presumption of innocence. He has always respected the schedule of the court and been present when required. In the end, the decision of the chamber by majority is that Mr. Sang is not excused. That is the ruling of the chamber. Mr. President, may we express gratitude at the consideration that the Chamber has given to our application. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. King and Katwa. <clears throat> we'll now bring down the blinds and invite the witness back into the courtroom. Court officer, we are in public session. Thank you very much. Um, witness, welcome back. Thank you. Um, the prosecutor will continue his um, examination in chief of you. Mr. Garcia, are we to re remain in the public session? Your Honours, I think the procedure yesterday was public session just to hear the recording and afterwards for the translation that the witness would provide would be in private session. Thank you. And you have 15 minutes, remember, to complete. Indeed, Your Honour. Please proceed. Good morning, Mr. Witness. Good morning. Now, Mr. Witness, I'd like to show you uh, some excerpts from a video and afterwards I'm going to ask you some questions. So I'd ask you to take... Uh, Take your time and look at the uh, excerpts that I'm, we're going to be showing you. Thank you.
Now, Mr. Witness, in this last excerpt that you've seen, do you recognize the voice of the person that's speaking? All right. Um, one second. Can we... Is it... We can go into private session. Um. Uh, no, no, but it, if you can do this in public, it's better to do it. But if you feel it's safer to do it in a private session, then we will. I prefer that we do do it in a private session, just to be cautious. All right, let's go into private session. Nous sommes en audience publique, Monsieur le Président. The court officer, we are in public session. Thank you. Uh, prosecutor, do we have transcripts? Yes, indeed, there, are, there is a transcript and a translation. And if the uh, court is minded to uh, admit this uh, video into evidence, then obviously we'll be tendering those at the same time. I, I was just wondering if we do. I'm not yet asking for anything or a I, I understand, Your Honor. To be admitted. It's just that with the time limitations, uh, I'm going through it in a little more efficient manner. All right. Okay, then we will proceed. And we can ask this question in public. Uh, Mr. Witness, can you tell us what is the uh, location that we saw in that excerpt? Caps a bit. What place exactly in Caps a bit? The stadium. Kipchoge Kano Stadium. Okay, just so it'd be clear, it's the Kipchoge Kano Stadium. Thank you. Now we're going to show you another excerpt. Pamoja na a few opinion leaders, utaenda kando hapo, kuna mambo mawili, tunataka tuseme. Ya tatu, kuna wazee wawili wa tatu, tunataka kuwatuma, omlete DC, na os, eh, OCBD ama kubwa wa polisi. Kwa hivyo, wakati huu, sikizeni, sikizeni. I'd ask uh, Your Honor that we move into private session for a minute. Private session?